Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to implement phone authentication using Twilio in AppRight. So in order to do that, we will first create a login with phone button. So I will go to the login page and I have created an elevated button with the login with phone. Next, I have created a phone login page. So when I click on this button, I will re get redirected to this page. So in the phone login page, I have a text field to enter the phone number, then a button to send the OTP and the second field is to get the OTP and then the authentication process is done using the login button. So now let's go to the Twilio dashboard and see how to create the authentication process. So if you open your Twilio account, you will first be created with a greeting page. So you will not be able to see this. So what you have to do is you have to go to messaging and then you have to click on try out and then you will have to go to get started. So in order to show you how that looks like, I will go to my medium article where I have detailed the complete process. So I will go to my stories and go to my published stories where I have published this story and here if I go to the workflow created by Tango you'll be able to see how that looks like okay so what happens is that first you create the account then you will select what product you are going to use so you will select SMS next you select the coding language that is not necessary but you can select anyone i have selected other next you will select yes host my code on twilio and then you will press on get started with twilio next you will be greeted with this page you have to select messaging and then you will select try it out once you do that you have to select get setup Now you will select start setup, then it will ask you to create a service. So you have to put the service name and then you will be able to get a number assigned to you. So it will charge, it will be charged $1.15 per month and then you are good to go. So once you have done that, you will be greeted with this page and you will be able to see the account SID, account token and the phone number that you have been assigned so now what you have to do is you have to create the string in this way so where it becomes app sms provider equals to sms colon dash dash and then you have the account sid remove these arrows and then you have to give a colon and then you have to put your secret token and then you have to give at the rate video and underscore app underscore sms underscore from will be the phone number make sure you have copied the full full plus one something that it is given here so you have to give the proper number once you have done that you can just copy this two line and then you have to open the you have to open the dot env file so if you open the dot env file uh, where you will find it you have to go to your home of your uh, of your computer and then you will be able to see AppRite folder you have to go inside AppRite folder and then you have to uh, unhide all the hidden files and then you will be able to see env in the env file you will already have these two fields you just have to paste the value that you have written here so for app sms provider you will just paste the whole thing and for app sms you will just paste the phone number and then you have to save and restart your app right instance in docker so once you have done that you will be able to use the twilio for your authentication so just to understand twilio auth is a separate thing and twilio messaging is a separate thing what happens here is that AppRight uses the SMS service of Twilio and sends a create a new OTP that has been created by AppRight and then when you enter the OTP and you do a verify OTP process, it will verify that OTP 
with the OTP that has that AppRite has sent. So it is it is completely done through AppRite. Okay. So now let's see how to write that function. So if I go to AppRite helper or yeah auth helper yeah I will go to the auth helper and you will see that we have two function here. So I have a login with number and I have verify OTP. So when I do login with number, I'm creating a phone session and then I am returning the user ID. So what this will do is it will automatically send a OTP to that number. And then once you have got the user ID and the OTP from the field and you do a login click, this verify OTP will get triggered and you will pass the user ID and the OTP to this update phone session and it will create a session and then it will give you the session object. So now you, your session is, has been created and in the first function a token was created. So this is how it works. So what I will do is I will run the instance and I will just show you the working. If you want to get a clear knowledge about it, you can go to the Medium article that I have created and then you will be able to see the complete code and the walkthrough from the Tango workflow. I will start the instance. Okay, let's use terminal. Okay, so if I open localhost, it will go to the project and then we'll go to auth and you will be able to see that it, we have a verified customer here. So let's delete this. Okay, and then we'll see the complete process. So let's do it now. Let me restart the app and I will put breakpoint in order to in order to show you the data that I receive. So I will go to login with phone. I will put 7031932380. I'll do send OTP and I will get a user ID. So I got the user ID. And if I go to the browser and I will go to app right, I will be able to see uh, an unverified user has been created and I have received the OTP here. So I will just enter 836248 and then I will do a login and what this will do is it will create a session and I will get the, all the session details and now if I go to the browser again and reload it you will be able to see that it is a verified phone number. So this is how you will be able to do it using Twilio. Thank you for watching the video. 